What's up, it's Otto Handles, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Russell Westbrook. Before I can begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and like the video, because that helps out a lot. Now with that out of the way, let's begin. Russell Westbrook has been one of the top point guards in the league for a long time. He's one of the hardest players to guard because of his explosive ability. He's persistent at looking for openings and opposing defenses. Once he finds that opening, he can attack from anywhere with his dazzling leaping ability and speed. Westbrook's mindset is really what separates him from the rest of the point guards in the NBA. Russell Westbrook plays with fearlessness and aggressiveness for every single minute he's out there. Because of Russell Westbrook's recklessness, he's turnover prone and has suffered many injuries in his career. Russell Westbrook is a true competitor. He believes that he has the ability to score at any time and really isn't willing to give the ball up in clutch situations. He wants to take the last shot. The problem is that he's playing with LeBron, who should be taking the last shots. Now, I'm not here to hate on Russell Westbrook because he's a good player. Russell Westbrook is sometimes unguardable because he has the ability to stop instantly on a drive and pull up for a jumper. However, his jump shooting numbers aren't always great and he's definitely a streaky shooter. But when Russell Westbrook does get in a rhythm with his jump shots, he's at his best. Now, Russell Westbrook is not only slashing to the basket, but pulling up and knocking it down. This creates a big dilemma for his opposing defenders. They are set on trying to keep Westbrook from bulldozing himself to the cup, but his jumper is on point, and so his defenders don't know what to do. They have to commit to one option and suffer the consequences. For instance, if they decide to play up tight and contest all of Westbrook's jumpers, then Russ will make a move and penetrate to the rim and finish with a ferocious dunk. Even though Russell is an elite player, when discussed by many NBA fans, he's looked to as more of a negative player than a positive one. And that's because Russell Westbrook's shot selection has just been terrible this season. And his overall decision making in clutch situations is just really confusing. I think the big problem is that Russell Westbrook doesn't understand what his expectations are. No one expects Russell Westbrook to put up a triple-double every night, averaging 30 plus points. If you're expecting that, then you're downright delusional. In my opinion, NBA fans should be able to marvel at all the things that Russell Westbrook has achieved so far in his career. But right now, he needs to be focused on winning. No one has ever said that Russell Westbrook needs to get more triple-doubles. No, the main criticisms that Westbrook gets are surrounding him turning the ball over, his bad shot selection, his poor perimeter shooting, and his lazy defense. Russell Westbrook has allowed easy baskets numerous times just because he wasn't staying alert. Even worse, in key moments he has been caught falling asleep, which has costed the Lakers many games. But please understand, this isn't intended to be a hate video for Russell Westbrook, because I understand that the media can make things a bigger deal than they actually are. What I'm trying to help the basketball world understand is that even after Russell Westbrook's 14-year experience in the league, he still doesn't understand what his issues are. You see, Russell Westbrook is at his best when he attacks the basket non-stop, not when he's shooting deep three-pointers. The point that I'm trying to make is that when Russell Westbrook plays to his strengths, then he is almost unstoppable. There are many issues that Russ has that many NBA fans have recognized. These problems could be changed in a short period of time if Russell Westbrook changed how he approached the game. But he's had 14 years to do so, and he hasn't even recognized his shortcomings. It really makes me think that he might never fix it. He's played a lot of seasons in the NBA, and still has trouble with turning the ball over and doesn't take very good shots. To be honest, I can't blame Laker fans for being frustrated. Russell Westbrook has the natural gifts and the skills to be a dominant point guard every single night. But because he won't take the time to improve on his weaknesses, he's always going to be limited. This season, Russell Westbrook has been a big disappointment. So far, he's averaging 18.4 points, 7.7 assists, and 7.8 rebounds per game on 43.7% from the field and 30% from the three. Russell Westbrook's scoring numbers haven't been this low since his first two or three years in the league. It seems like ever since Russell Westbrook's MVP season, he's been on a downward trend. Every single year since the 2016 through 17 season, he's been trending downwards. And that's understandable because Russell Westbrook's MVP year was probably one of the best we've seen from him. Remember guys, he was averaging a triple-double with 32 points per game. That's insane. But so far for the Los Angeles Lakers, he's been one of the most disappointing players this entire season. But what do you think? What do you think is Russell Westbrook's biggest flaw and strength in this game? Tell me in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.